From elections here on Earth, we turn to outer space. Leaders in Israel's space industry hope to try again to land a spacecraft on the moon. Their first lunar craft crashed just miles away from its goal of putting down on the moon's surface. I was at the Israel Space Center when the events unfolded. Before the final descent of the spacecraft, these Israeli pioneers hoped for success. We're eight and a half years into making so many engineers, both in Space IL, Israel Aerospace Industries, donors, supporters, volunteers, and it's all coming down to this. This baby here is going to get to the surface of the moon. The only question is in how many pieces? Space IL's major donor, Morris Khan, explained the name of the spacecraft. Bereshit is the first word in our Bible. It is in the beginning. And I think that for us, this is the beginning. And for space, for space IL and for the Israel aircraft industry, this is the beginning. We have lost communication with the spacecraft. But on the verge of history, Israel's spacecraft, Bereshit, fell just short. It seems that the failure in our inertial measurement unit caused a chain of events in the spacecraft avionics, which cut off the engines and caused us to lose the mission. The attempted moon landing began as a dream by three Israeli engineers eight and a half years ago. Despite the failure, it still represents the epitome of Israel as the startup nation. It's a story that, that shows a lot about Israel, how three young engineers sitting in a bar can, you know, just pull a, a, an entire country after them and make this a reality. They want to inspire the next generation. We've met more than a million kids in Israel and around the world and gave them the, the message that, you know, science and technology can be fun, can be cool. Israel became only the seventh nation to put a spacecraft in lunar orbit and the first privately funded mission to the moon. For a small country like Israel, for a small, even smaller uh, com uh, company or association like uh, Space IL, it's a huge achievement. But my message is for the kids. This is hard. It is rocket science. Science and engineering is difficult. It doesn't always work the first time. But you have to pick yourself up and try again. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu encouraged the space team to go on. If at first you don't succeed, you try again. The spacecraft carried a nano copy of the Bible on board, and before its final descent, the spacecraft took a selfie with a banner that read, Small Country, Big Dreams. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Israel Space Center. Alpha.